Hello you people out there in YouTube land, how do you do? You're heading there? Yep. In that direction? We're going to walk past Maxwell Food Center. And we're going to cross the road, this busy road, and head that direction. Nope, we're not going to the Buddha Tooth Relic Temple today. We're going to go past that. Yes, but we need to cross the road first and then pass the temple. And here we are at Chinatown Complex. Unfortunately, it's cleaning day. So we can't go here. But wait a minute, I remember there's another place around 100 meters away. So behind the food center is Kyong Sak Road. And we're going to walk down Kyong Sak Road, down that direction. So here we are again, uh, Kyong Sak Road. That's a Hindu temple here. Walk past the Hindu temple. And keep walking down that direction in between the shop houses so if you like pre-world war ii shop houses there's lots and lots of examples of those here and this building here is an iconic building in this area it appears on a lot of postcards from that direction all the way here and almost to the end of the road you see there is this building here and at the building there's this red awning we are coming here so there's actually a coffee shop here at the bottom of this uh, building called funky roasted and at this coffee shop is this store called Fongki Roasted and here it is so go there and place your order and eat what they are known for is their roast meats so I ordered their wonton noodle $3.50 the portion size is quite small but look at this this is what you get you get wonton noodles together with char siu or barbecue pork sorry about the color because of the red awning so the noodles does look a bit uh, the coloring is a bit off but here they make good wonton noodles and then we normally eat it with green chili and of course the wontons in a bowl of soup and underneath the noodles you can actually see that there's actually a lot of sauce look at that yes so the style here is more of the malaysian style but they didn't use a dark soya sauce here they use more of a light soya sauce a bit sweet a bit savory and once you mix it up the noodles will absorb the sauce and then you also have the wontons and a bowl of soup yeah so i can't wait to dig in are you ready to rumble rumble in the jungle the jungle of noodles even though the portion size of the noodles is not a lot but taste wise it is good so first of all you need to mix up the noodles make sure you have make sure every single strand of noodles is coated by the sweet savory soya sauce and the noodles here cook very well nice bouncy good back texture and then chasu 
also very good, very nicely, a very good sweet seasoning on the outside. Only problem is the meat is a bit lean, not much fat to it, but still a very good char siu. I do like the char siu here. And you can have it with a bit of chili, or the chili, then they put a, like a chili paste, you can add to your noodles, which also makes it hot and spicy. Which I do like it. So here you can have your noodles without the chili. They can eat it with, together with green chili, which will give it an extra nice sour spiciness. Or without the chili, also you get a nice sweet savory flavor to the noodles. Noodles cook too well, nice and bouncy, or eat it together with the chili paste, and it gives you a nice flavor to it. Any way you want to, the noodles here really really good, really tasty, really enjoyable. If you like one time noodles, this is the place to come. And then you also have the char siu, which do it they do it very well. Just that I would prefer my char siu to be more fatty. Here the meat is a bit lean, but the cooking method and then the seasoning on outside, outer layer of the char siu, very done very well, nicely done. I like that. And oh, of course, I, I prefer it if there was still a bit more caramelization, more charring of the meat. But still, very good char siu. But then, don't forget, you still have the one tons. Nice, thin, tender, soft skin, and a meaty minced meat filling. One time was okay, soup was okay. The best thing here is the noodles, noodles and the char siu. So, one of the places around this area here, slightly further away from Chinatown complex. But still, a very good place to come for wonton noodles. If you're in the area, drop by. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed my adventure here, my food adventure at this place. Uh, Fong Ki Roasted. They make good one time and charge you. If you like those things, come by. Uh, you will not be disappointed. And as per usual, like, share, and subscribe. I got Patreon, I also got PayPal, support me on those. And lastly, but the most important thing, the thing that you have to do is uh, oh, watch some old videos too. And of course, come back for my next food adventure. I will see you guys around. Bye bye.